victory on the battlefield is worth any cost. After rescuing the Emperor from Shun An, Cao Cao leads him to his own capital of Shu Cheng. His control of the revered Emperor of the long reigning Han Dynasty gives him a certain prestige. Elsewhere, Yuan Shu's faction is gradually losing support. Panicking, he does the unthinkable. He declares himself Emperor, basing his claim on the imperial seal he had taken from the late Sun Zhan. He claims to be the true leader and calls on all faithful lords to support him. However, this gives Yuan Shao the perfect excuse against him. Shao proclaims Xu a traitor and begins his own campaign against him. I will not execute you, Zhang Liao. I want you to work for me instead. You what? Zhang Liao. After serving Ding Yuan and Dong Zhuo, he went to serve Lu Bu after being impressed by his sheer might. He fought in various battles under Lu Bu and eventually formed a friendship with Guan Yu. However, the treacherous Lu Bu was eventually executed by Cao Cao. After being spared, Zhang Liao prepared to follow a new path in life, serving Cao Cao. My lord, these men killed my uncle. Yet now you're saying you want me to work alongside them? I know how you feel, Li Dian. However, Continuing to live in hatred will only cause more harm to the land. This is to create a new world. I need you to understand. Ha! I cannot argue your point in good faith, my lord. I shall do my best to put this behind me. Master Cao Cao, may I ask why you're agreeing to let me live? Lu Bu made his name in this world as a demon on the battlefield. However, Zhang Liao, you have yet to show the world who you truly are. That means there must be something you aspire to in this life. I simply want to see you achieve that goal in my employ. You did well to survive, Zhang Liao. We were enemies in battle. But I am pleased to count you as a friend now. That's enough, Guan Yu. I should be dead right now. I am merely a product of circumstance. I am most glad of it. You have been given the gift of life. You must now find a reason to live. Zhang Liao, you must walk your new path with pride. Thank you, Master Guan Yu. My heart feels somewhat at ease now. I shall serve as Master Cao Cao's blade until I can find the path my might is destined to take. My lord, Yuan Shu has named himself Emperor and is marching north. So, Yuan Shu has made his move. Although facing him will expose us to Yuan Shao, we cannot leave him be. Then you must allow us to join your cause, Master Tsao Tsao. 
This is our opportunity to repay the debt we owe you from Shapi. Besides, I cannot forgive one who would take the Emperor's name in vain. I think that is a brilliant proposal. Master Cao Cao, we should agree to accept Master Liu Bei's assistance in this matter. Rumor has it that the current ruler of the Sun family, Sun Se, is considering leaving you in Shu's shadow. We should consider working together with him. Very well. Guoxia and Shun Yu, I shall leave the details to you. We will defeat Yuan Shu once and for all. We shall slay the self-proclaimed Emperor Yuan Shu. All units, forward! Hey, get on in here! Come again! I need to meet with Master Yuan Shao and reach a peace. Young Hong, handle this. <laughs> against my might! Report! Lord Ji Ling has been defeated. Our alliance with you and Shao is over. We can't expect any more aid? Then we surely can't expect to win either.
supply unit hasn't arrived yet. I wonder if something bad happened to it. It'll play into enemy hands if I leave camp now. But maybe I can at least scout out what's happening. Leo Bay and his men. How I loathe them. Sweep them aside. than to flee before the enemy. It is time he paid for his contemptible behavior. Time to finish this! Ye has fallen to Sun Sis forces. Oh. The enemy is coming with ever greater momentum. Strengthen the defenses in preparation for an invasion. Victory serves to make me that much stronger! Well done! You performed admirably! Are to capture that 
strategic location. I want our formation to be in perfect order. Too good for the enemy. It'll be put to much better use by us. That area is too good for the enemy. We've been defeated. We can't fight without supplies. You saved all of our food! How can we ever thank you? Stand against my might! Is there absolutely nothing we can eat? I simply can't fight when I'm hungry like this. How dare you raise your blades against me? I am your emperor. Someone, slay these perfidious fools! This is our chance to push the enemy lines back. Follow me! We're going to secure this area. Everybody, forward! I don't really like defending, but I'll do what needs to be done! This place, in the name of my lord!
incredibly strong, Zhang Liao. Who wouldn't compliment you? Defeated. The weapons are about to be stopped. Every victory serves to make me that much stronger. Yes, your deeds will go down in legend. Defensive position. Time to finish this. Such great strength. I'm pulling back for now. Every victory serves to make me that much stronger. You are doing an excellent job. This is the perfect opportunity to strike. I can't hold out any longer. Zhao Zhao's here? Don't let him anywhere near me. Incredibly strong, Zhang Liao. Who wouldn't compliment you? My might is without equal. We cannot afford to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. Impossible. Unthinkable. Inconceivable. I am the Emperor! How could I be forced to endure such an outrage? You are still pathetic, even after calling yourself Emperor. You will never have what it takes to rule this land. Every victory serves to make me that much stronger! My lord, Yuan Shao has defeated Gong Sun Zan in battle. I have conquered the Central Plains, and now Yuan Shao has control of Hebei. We may have no greater opportunity than the present. It seems the time for our inevitable showdown has finally arrived. Yes. Yuan Shao may outnumber us on paper, but I have faith in the superior talent of my men. We shall return to Xuchang. We must begin making preparations for this final battle. Yuan Shu has been slain. Now we can turn our attention to Yuan Shao. Oh! <coughs> 
It seems like I don't have much time left. However, I just need to hang on for a little bit longer. That cough. I knew it. You're... Hey. What's with the scary look on your face? I'm just a little tired, that's all. Master Guo Jia. Ha! I guess you're a little too smart to fall for that line. Master Shunyo, your supposition is correct. However, I ask that you please keep this between us. My time here is limited. That is why I must see this through to the end. I would appreciate it if you could allow me to realize this one final wish. I understand. If that is your wish, Master Guo Jia. Thank you. I knew that I could count on you. Now, just as we planned, we'll slip the poison into his drink. Yes, that is the first step. Master Ma Tang and Master Liu Bei are ready to make their move as well. This is our chance to punish this traitor for seeking to bask in the Emperor's glory! I see you have shown your true colors at last, Dong Cheng. Hmm. What is the meaning of this commotion? Father, may I have a moment? We have captured somebody who is part of a plot to have you assassinated. What? Dong Cheng? How dare you? Cao Cao, you are a servant of the Emperor, yet you ignore His Highness and act as if you rule the land yourself. You think... Perhaps you think you are the Emperor, or that you will take his place. You must be punished for your boundless arrogance. I have no intention of becoming Emperor. The land may require the Imperial Throne, but the Yellow Turbans and Dong Zhuo have shown that that alone is not enough. Therefore, I must bring a sense of reason to this land that, combined with the influence of the throne, will save this land. That is the path I choose to follow. I do not expect someone like you to understand. However, I cannot allow you to interfere, either. Take him away! Father, it appears that Liu Bei was also involved with Dong Cheng's plot. However, Liu Bei has already fled Xu Chong, and even gone so far as to abandon his lands in Xiao Pei. Hm. He truly is a small man, in both size and ambition. Cao Cao! See how they repay your kindness? If you leave them be, they will surely turn against you again in the future. You must eliminate them now, while we still can. No, we are fine to deal with them later. Liu Bei's only choice is to flee to Yuan Shao. There he will likely be used as a sacrificial pawn in a much larger game. We can deal with him when we face Yuan Shao. Even if he lives, there is nowhere for him to go. He will not be a problem for you any longer, Master Cao Cao. Hmm. Shahudun, Shunyu, 
There is merit to what both of you are saying. Do I chase after Liu Bei? Or do I make preparations to face Yuan Shao? I must give the matter some thought. Yuan Shao is using his superior numbers to his advantage. Our defensive lines along the Yellow River have fallen, as have Bai Ma and Ian Jing. That means that Pu Yang has been isolated. I am also hearing word that Sun Se has conquered Jian Dong and is planning to follow up on Yuan Shao's movements by invading Yan province. So. Should we withdraw for the time being and look to regroup our forces? No. It will not be easy for Sun Se to invade Yan province. He conquered Jiang Dong with alarming speed. As such, he has created many enemies. He will be too focused on his immediate surroundings to make a move now. Hmm. What do you think, Master Shun Yo? Care to share your wisdom on the matter? If we continue to focus on defense, we will never come out ahead in this battle. Therefore, I think we should target the enemy's positions at Bai Ma and Yan Jin. Bai Ma and Yan Jing are defended by Yang Liang and Wen Chao. Although, they are some of Yuan Shao's fiercest officers, their units are woefully undermanned. We should abandon Puyang and leave the bare minimum of troops to defend our main camp. The rest of our forces will strike the enemy and create a path to victory. I have made my decision. Shunyo, we will put our destiny in your hands. Reform the units and leave a minimal squad to defend the main camp at Guandu. Everybody else, I want you to rendezvous at Bai Ma and Yanjin. We need to secure... front lines and then eliminate Yuan Shao. We can overcome our inferior numbers through intellect and bravery. Come, Cao Cao weaklings! Beyond the end of Yuan Shao's forces will crush you! My might is without equal! We're going to defend this position. In our lives, if that's what it takes. Our target is that parcel of land. Prepare to move! We're advancing. Everyone follow my lead! To come out alone. Time to finish this. We're advancing. Everyone, follow my lead. to find such a worthy opponent. I shall deal with that one myself. 
you to be this good. Taken by Cao Cao's forces. What? Dam Yang let them better him? With this fight, then we must fight harder for Yan Jin. Resist and intercept the enemy. We have to stop them here. Everyone is to remain here and defend this position with their very lives. Target is that parcel of land. Prepare to move. We're advancing. Everyone follow my lead. We have no choice. We have to abandon Yan Jin. How powerless I feel. Nothing can stand against my might! Report! Yuan Shao's man, Shu Yu, wishes to surrender. He awaits word in Wu Chao. Welcome, welcome! Please, come again. Shu Yu's surrender may change things. We should hurry to Wu Chao. You certainly are incredibly strong, Zhang Liao. Who wouldn't compliment you? Welcome, welcome! Do please come again.
You have trusted my words and come to see me. The advantage lies with Master Tsao Tao. I will surrender. I bring with me a gift. I will tell you the weakness in Yuan Shao's army. Here in Wuchao is a large-scale storehouse. As you know, provisions are vital for any army. With a storehouse to burn, for example, that would be a major blow. 